All right, this is the time of the year when you hear a lot of talk about Medicare and Medicare Advantage plans and all the different parts. It can be pretty confusing, right? Well, Chris Bellerson is back from Care Plus and he joins me this morning to break it all down for us. It's that time of year again. Good morning. Yes, it is, Carly. Thanks for having us back. We yeah. appreciate it. Well, we need some we need some help to break it sure. down. So let's go over first the basics of Medicare. Sure. Uh, well, a, a really easy way to kind of look at it mm -hmm. is Medicare is going to consist of, of four parts. Okay. Part A, B, C, and D. Okay. Uh, parts A and B are going to be hospitalization coverage mm -hmm. as well as coverage for outpatient doctor visits. And that's known as original Medicare. You also have Part C, which are known as Medicare Advantage plans, and then Part D, which is your prescription drug coverage. So parts A and B cover a lot of, of uh, individuals' Medicare costs, mm -hmm. uh, you know, doctor's office visits and things like that. But sometimes there's some things that A and B don't include, like prescription drug coverage. Mm. Uh, so a lot of people will elect for Medicare C, which is a Medicare Advantage plan, and that's gonna combine in most cases, the Part A, the Part B, and the Part D in one package. Which and is that's great. what we're going to talk a lot about this morning, that the Medicare correct. Advantage plan. So yes. what are the benefits that you really like people to know about that Medicare Advantage sure, plan? Sure, absolutely. Well, any Medicare Advantage plan is going to cover, at the very least, what original Medicare covers. Okay. However, it does offer some additional benefits, uh, for instance, maybe dental coverage, oh. uh, vision, uh, mm -hmm. transportation, over-the-counter benefits, things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, which is really great. Okay, so what should you be looking for? And obviously I know everyone's gonna be different, but what are some of those key things when you're looking at those Advantage plans? Sure, sure. Well, some of the key things that a Medicare beneficiary is gonna look out for is co-payments, okay. uh, their co-insurance if they have that, if their plan has a deductible. So really overall cost. Okay. Um, also, they want to pay attention to the network. They want to make sure that their doctors are in network and specialists that they use are in network. Um, any hospitals, mm -hmm. uh, uh, make sure those are in network. And then if they're looking for prescription drug coverage, they would also want to check on their prescriptions and make sure that they're covered in the um, okay. plans formulary. Yeah. Eligibility. Who can enter this plan? Who can get in? So our plan is available to anybody who's uh, eligible for mm -hmm. Medicare. Uh, you need to have Part A of Medicare as well as be enrolled in Part B. So basically, if you have Part A and Part okay. B of Medicare, you could be eligible for Care Plus. You mentioned that keyword enroll. This is a timely thing. When can people do this? We don't want to miss these dates. Well, we're in a special time of year now, which is the annual election period that runs from October 15th through December 7th. But generally what happens is when somebody turns 65, they enter into what's called their initial election period. Okay. So they have three months before the uh, month of their 65th birthday, the month of, and three months after that birthday month to make an mm -hmm. initial selection. So once they're enrolled in a Medicare Advantage plan, then each year they have the opportunity to change annually during the annual election period. And that's October 15th through December 7th. Okay. Um, and then there are some limited circumstances where individuals will qualify for what's called a special election period. Okay. For instance, if they just moved into a new area, uh, if they lost coverage, mm -hmm. uh, maybe that individual may qualify for Medicare and Medicaid uh, okay. uh, or extra help on prescriptions. Um, so if anybody you know, wants to see if they qualify for a special election period, they can obviously call us and speak to a licensed agent and we can see what we can do for them. And that was my next question. You've done a brilliant job in breaking it down as much as you can Thank in you. our short time here, but I know people have other questions. Where are sure. their resources? Uh, where would you send them? You can always reach out to Medicare. Okay. 1-800-MEDICARE. Uh, you can go to their website, okay. Medicare.gov. But we would encourage you to contact Care Plus. Uh, we have a 1-800 number that you can call mm -hmm. uh, and get general information and get your questions answered. And even if you'd like, we can send a licensed agent out uh, to sit down and meet with you and go over all your plan options. And I love that you guys offer that. People yes. like being able to talk to somebody face to face just Absolutely. like what we're doing right here. Absolutely. It's a rarity these days. Yeah. So we're happy to provide that service. Real quick, let's mention, we don't want to, we don't want this to go five star rated here recently. Yeah, that is something that we are very, very excited about. Uh, we did receive a five star rating yeah. from the Medicare program, which is the highest designation that can be offered. Um, so very happy that we're able to offer that kind of five-star service to our members and it gives them the peace of mind of knowing that if they decide to go with Care Plus, they're going to get excellent service, which is great. And that's how we want to end it. Make sure you, you call the team here. They'll get you going in the right direction. Again, thank you so much for your time. I know it's a My busy pleasure. time of year. Yes, and it we'll is. And we'll make sure all that info is uh, on our website. Great.